At Eat Good Group, we have a variety of different concepts, including seven brick and mortar restaurants, food trucks, catering, and a commissary kitchen. We look to the past for inspiration and ideas, and we want to take those ideas and make them more modern. Idaho beef finger steaks really fits into what we do because it's something that's very traditional and is a heritage item out of the state of Idaho and it fits into all the things that we're doing from our modern diner to our fast casual to our higher end restaurant. And so we're able to take that idea and show its versatility and adaptiveness through all those styles of cuisine. The Gyu Katsu represents a traditional tonkatsu style dish. Instead, we're replacing the pork cutlet with finger steaks. This is Gyu Katsu sirloin cap finger steaks with cabbage slaw and traditional tonkatsu sauce. Idaho beef finger steaks are perfect for sushi rolls and for sushi in general, and is a great swap for ahi tuna or salmon. This is perfect for people that don't like fish. They can come into a sushi style restaurant and have a steak option. This is a great place on steakhouse menus for underutilized steak cuts and being able to roll those into sushi or do a quick appetizer and get a better food cost. The ribeye cap steak is extremely tender and when cut on the bias and placed into the roll, it makes a perfect bite of sushi. This is the earthen turf roll with tempura ribeye cap steak, roasted portobello, shiitake mayo, dried shiitake jerky, and dehydrated shredded beef. Operating a restaurant in Idaho is incredible because of all of the natural resources we have here and the high quality of ingredients. From our great lakes, the plains, pastures, and forests, that's what makes Idaho beef special. This is a great way to showcase finger steaks for breakfast. We country fried them and topped them with smoked gouda, fried egg, and put it on a country biscuit. Instead of serving a traditional country fried steak, you can do these finger steaks on a biscuit sandwich to get a little more value and better food cost. Appetizers are a great way to increase margins and food revenue. Finger steaks fits perfectly into that. Here we've taken the flavors of a crispy taco, nachos, and a taquito and blended them together to create this great dish. We made queso with beer from our brewery, American cheese, and roasted chilies. When eaten together with the queso and the ancho cream, this had the flavor of a crispy taco and a taquito mixed together. This is an interesting way to catch a customer's attention by showing off flank finger steaks. This dish is perfect for a fine dining application. This could be included in a chef's tasting or a multi-course meal. We used a New York steak cut into finger steaks, breaded them in dehydrated potatoes and a simple egg wash. This dish has a crispy potato outside with a soft, tender inside. We made egg yolk jam with apple cider vinegar, egg yolks, and a little bit of salt. This is a little bit of a play on caviar with blini. We have the potatoes, creme fraiche, the fish eggs are the tobiko, chives, and instead of hard-boiled eggs, we have egg yolk jam. It is a great Idaho dish. The Idaho potatoes crusted on the outside of Idaho beef. Overall, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many different ways to experiment with Idaho beef.